If you are nearing the end of your degree program and your dissertation or thesis is near or you are planning to apply for a PhD program, chances are that you are going to need to craft a convincing research proposal. If you are watching this video, you are probably unsure exactly what the research proposal is all about. Well, you have come to the right place. I am Halima, clinical psychologist and research scholar from Psychological Research Writings. In this video, I am going to explain you all about research proposal writing for graduates and postgraduate level and providing you the basics of how to write a research proposal in a very easy way. So please keep watching this video till end. So before starting a video, it is important to know the basic of a research proposal. Writing a research proposal is not that easy. It requires a lot of research, efforts and time to plan and write a good and acceptable research proposal. So here are the basics of a research proposal. Before start writing the proposal, it is an excellent idea to know the basics about overview of research proposal. The first one is what is dissertation or thesis research proposal? What things should be included in research proposal? What should be the length of a research paper? How to structure and write up a research proposal? Now next comes what is the dissertation or thesis research proposal? A research proposal is a simply and structured formal document that explain what you plan to research. For example, your research topic. Why it is worth researching, that is your justification and how you plan to investigate, that is your practical approach. The purpose of research proposal is to convince your research supervisor, committee or university that your research is suitable for the requirements of the degree program and it is manageable by given the time and resources constraint that you will face. The most important word here is to convince, in other words, your research proposal needs to sell your research idea to whoever is going to approve it. If it doesn't convince them of its suitability and manageability, you will need to revise and resubmit it. So next come what things should be included in research proposal. As I mentioned earlier, a good dissertation or thesis proposal needs to cover the what, the why and the how of the research. Let's look at each of these in a little more detail. The what. Your proposal needs to clearly articulate your research topic. This needs to be specific and unambiguous. Your research topic should make it clear exactly what you plan to research and in what context. Here's an example. Your research topic, for example, is perceived po positive social support and positivity as a coping mechanism for depression evidence from UAE. As you can see here, the topic is extremely clear. From this one line, we can see exactly what's being investigated, that is perceived social support and positivity, what it involves depressive patients, in what context UAE. So make sure that your research proposal provides a detailed explanation of your research topic. It should go without stay, saying but don't start writing your proposal until you have a crystal clear topic in mind or you will end up waffling away a few thousand words. Next comes the why. As we touched on earlier, it's not good enough to simply propose a research topic. You need to justify why your topic is original. In other words, what makes it unique? What gap in the current literature does it fill? If it's simply a rehash of the existing research, it's probably not going to get approved. So it's need to be fresh. But originality alone is not enough. Once you have ticked that box, you also need to justify why your proposed topic is important. In other words, what value will it add to the world if you manage to find answers of your research questions? For example, let's look at the sample research topic we mentioned earlier, that is perceived social support and positive, uh, positivity as a mechanism for depression. In this case, if the research could uncover relevant factors, these findings would be very useful to mental health professionals in clinical setting and would therefore have interventional importance. 
that is clear justification for the research. So when you are crafting your research proposal, remember that it is not enough for a topic to simply be unique. It need to be useful and value creating and you need to convey that value in your proposal. If you are struggling to find a research topic that makes the cut, watch our video covering how to choose a research topic by clicking the right corner pop-up icon or I have also provided the link in the description box below. So let's move to the next section. The how. It's uh, all good and well to have a great topic that's original and important. But you are not going to convince anyone to approve it without discussing the practicalities. In other words, how will you undertake your research? Is your research design appropriate for your topic? Is your plan manageable given your constraint that is your time and money and expertise? So while it's generally not expected that you will have a fully fleshed out research strategy at the proposal stage, but you will need to provide a high level view of your research methodology and some key design decisions. Here are some important questions you will need to address in your proposal. Will you take a qualitative or quantitative approach? Will your design be cross-sectional or longitudinal? How will you collect your data, interview, survey, etc.? How will you analyze your data that is a statistical analysis or qualitative data analysis? So make sure you give some thought to the practicalities of your research and, ha and have at least a basic understanding of research methodologies before you start writing up your proposal. Next comes what should be the length of a research paper. So this varies extremely, depends on the university, the field of study and the level of degree program. So it's always best to check with your university what their specific requirements are before you start planning your proposal. On a rough estimate, a proposal should be at master level often range from 2000 words to 3000 words, while a PhD level proposal can be for more detail ranging from 5000 to 8000 words. In some cases, a rough outline of the topic is all that needed. So while in other cases, university expect a very detailed proposal that essentially forms the first three chapters of the dissertation or thesis. So the takeaway message here is be sure to check with your institution before you start writing. Next comes how to structure and write up research proposal. While the exact structure and format required for a dissertation or thesis research proposal differs from university to university, there are seven essential ingredients that typically make up the structure of a research proposal. The first one is title, the second is abstract, the third is introduction, the fourth is background and rationale, fifth is aims and objectives, sixth research methodology, seventh references or bibliography. For a detailed explanation of each of these and step-by-step -step guidance covering how to structure a research proposal, have a look at the pop-up video. You might also consider to get our free research proposal template in the description box of that video. Now next comes the conclusion. As you write up your research proposal, remember the all important core purpose is to convince. Your research proposal needs to sell your research idea in terms of suitability and viability. So focus on crafting a convincing narrative and you will have won half of the battle. So this is all for now. If you find this video helpful, please like it and share it. If you have any query or questions unanswered, you are free to post it in the comment section. I will answer them as soon as possible. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get all the new updates. Thank you for watching. See you.